For today's video, I'll be doing the greasers. Unlike the preps, the greasers overall design didn't change much at all, but the faces and hairstyles of most of the greasers changed drastically. So let's get on to analysing each individual greaser. We'll start off with Peanut first, as out of all the greasers, he changed the most. Peanut's first beta appearance changed drastically compared to his final version. As you can see, his hair used to be completely different as he had a massive pompadour. His face shape is drastically different here too. The clothes Peanut was wearing are largely the same as his final design, just with a few texture changes. For example, the jacket is more reddish brownish than the final jacket he wears, and the vest he wears underneath his jacket is actually the original ball with a vest, which was actually red rather than blue. Rather than wearing jeans, Peanut is actually wearing school slacks. And finally, Peanut is wearing, well, what I think are brown Italian shoes, unlike the boots he actually wears in the final game. Peanut's second beta appearance is a lot more recognisable, however his hair is slightly different and actually looks like a mirrored version of Ricky's hair. I also want to clarify that, unlike what some people believe, Peanut never had a beta name. Some people believe his beta name was Larry, when it never was. Larry is Peanut's real name, but everybody calls him Peanut. It's just one of those nicknames that everybody just so happens to call that one person. You know, like, Peanut's real name is Larry Romano, and not his beta name. Johnny Vincent also had two beta appearances. Now, I'd like to apologise for the god-awful photo of my old video here, but I'm 100% sure all traces of this photo are now gone, as I couldn't find the original photo anywhere. Anyway, as you can see, Johnny Vincent's face is a hell of a lot different here than, than it was in the final game, and he's actually wearing a tie underneath his jacket, as opposed to the ball with fest he has in the final game. Johnny's second appearance was largely the same as his final design, however, as you can tell, his hair and his face were a lot different. His hair is dark black here, but in the final game, his hair is just slightly lighter. And here, at least to me anyway, it looks like Johnny actually has a bit of facial hair underneath his chin. While Hal's design never really changed, in the beta, Hal was actually originally a member of the Bully Click. In very early PS2 copies, and I'm talking about day one October 2006 copies, Hal had a quote, when I'm done hitting you, Russell will sit on you, which was changed to when I'm done hitting you, I'm going to sit on you, in pretty much every copy of Bully ever since. It's further backed up by Hal not expressing any interest in cars, or bikes, or hair like any of the other greasers do. Lefty Mancini's appearance is largely the same as his final design, however, as you can see here, his face shape is just slightly different. I'm terrible with face shapes, so I can't name the shape of Lefty's beta face compared to his final face. But as you can just see, that's pretty much the only change Lefty actually had. Lola Lombardi is one of those characters that was never changed at all. The only change Lola actually had was the little beauty spot she has on her face, and like Pinky, Lola also had an appearance where she was in her underwear. In fact, every girl in every click did. And as I said in my preps video, it's not a surprise why it was removed, as if it was kept in, Rockstar Games would have been in serious trouble. I'm probably going to have to repeat this in every video, just in case, like, um, you know, so like somebody hasn't watched the previous video or whatever. So sorry if it gets annoying. Anyway, aside from that, Lola was never really changed. Sadly, the only change I can see in Lucky DeLuca's beta design was his vest was much darker than it was in the final game. Aside from that, I really cannot tell any differences between this version of Lucky and the final version of Lucky. Vance's appearance is largely the same as his final design. The only thing that changed for Vance was his shoe colour, as his shoes are black in the beta. His face looks slightly more miserable here, I think. Some people believe that Vance was originally a non-click student, as he appears as a regular student during Halloween. However, I believe it was a mistake on Rockstar's part, as there is nothing to back this up. Even in his pirate outfit, Vance is still dressed a lot like a greaser. Like Vance, Ricky's original appearance stayed largely the same as his final design. However, Ricky's hair appears to be much darker here than it is in the final game, and Ricky's skin tone appears to be a bit more pink than it is in the final game. Aside from that, Ricky's appearance is pretty much the exact same as his final design. Finally, we have Norton. In the beta, Norton's name was actually Jason. It is unknown if his last name was different, but it's highly likely it was still Williams, as most beta name changes are usually just either the first or the last name, never both, in most cases anyway. So it's possible Norton's beta name was actually Jason Williams. Secondly, Norton's face was much different in the beta than it was in the final game. Aside from that, Norton's appearance didn't change at all. This last beta change isn't exactly confirmed, but I do believe like the Greasers actually had a beta place where they'd hang out. Because in most of Chapter 1's missions where you deal with the bullies, well okay, maybe not most, but I mean missions like um, the slingshot and character shoots. 
you know, like you have to actually go to the auto shop in those areas. And during those missions, there are no greasers around at all, only the bullies. So it's possible that the greasers actually had a different hangout in the beta. Of course, none of this is confirmed, and I'm just theorizing it. So that's all the beta info and one theory I have for the greasers. And thank you for watching.